Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to create vertical scroll section or pages in Elementor WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we are using Elementor plugin. Now go to dashboard. On left side you see plugin so click on add new so we are going to install plugin for vertical scroll now in search plugin write premium add-ons for elementor so this is plugin premium add-ons for elementor we will use so you will install this plugin and activate it and after activation scroll down on left side you see premium add-ons for elementor and then you see widgets so click on it now widget section open and scroll down you see different elements now you see vertical scroll enable now go to edit page so we are going to create vertical scroll section now click on edit with elementor now page open and then you see add new section and then select structure so click on it now section edit now we are going to add vertical scroll widget now click on it and then you see elements now in search widget write vertical scroll now you see vertical scroll so drag and drop here now vertical scroll element added and then on left side you see update changes to pages and then you see content you see some instruction and then you see content type drop down now you see elementor template or section id so select section id and then you see section so you can create multiple section and then add section id here now you see section so click on add item so you can add section id here so first we are going to create section and then we will add section id here and then make changes in vertical scroll setting now you see drag widget here so click on add new section then select structure so click on it now new section added now you see edit section on left side you see edit section then you see different setting and now you see height drop down select fit to screen now on top you see style so again click on it and then you see background so we are going to add video now you see background type different option classic gradient video so select video and now you can add video link here so you can add your youtube vimeo link or you can add mp4 link also now we will add youtube link now paste and then you see start time video edit then you see end time so you can add start time and time according to your requirement and then you see play once play on mobile so enable this option now you see background fall back so you can add image according to your requirement if you want this cover image will replace the background video in case that video could not be loaded now you see background overlay so click on it now you see background type so classic so if you want you can add background overlay now you see color now you see and then you see opacity so you can do setting according to your requirement so currently we are not adding this and then scroll up you see advanced so click on it now we are going to add some padding so we are going to add padding on top and then on bottom now you see link value together so disable then add padding according to your requirement now you see we added 100 px top 100 px bottom now we are going to add some content on this section for styling now paste we added some style or content now you see we added title element and then you see style so we change text color and then you see typography so we added size 50 px weight so you can do styling according to your requirement for section so add more text now you see on screen we added some content on this section so you can create design according to your requirement now we are going to add id in this section now you see edit section so click on it and now we are in advanced 
and then you see CSS ID. So you can add ID according to your requirement, like section one, SEC one. Then click on update. Now go to page and refresh the page. Now you see our section is added. Now go to elementor section again. So we are going to add another section. Now scroll down. You see drag widget here, and then you see add new section. So again click on it, and then select structure. And now you see edit section. So click on it, and then you see layout. And then in layout you see height, drop down, select fit to screen. Now go to advance. Now we are going to add padding. Now disable link value together. Now add some padding for top and bottom. Now hundred, and also hundred. Now go to style. So we are going to add image background. Now you see background type, classic, and then image. So you can choose image. So click on it. Now you can select image according to your requirement. So I select this, and then click on select. Now you see image added. And now scroll down. You see position, center, center. Repeat, no repeat. Attachment, and then you see display size, cover, or auto. You can select according to your requirement. So now I select cover. Now you see attachment drop down currently default select and then you see two option so you can select according to your requirement and then scroll down you see background overlay so again click on it and then you see background type classic and if you want you can add color black and then you can select opacity like this now we are going to add some content now paste. Now we added some content on this section also, so you can create layout for this section according to your requirement. Now click on Edit section, so we are going to add CSS ID, and now in Advanced you see CSS ID. Now add section two. Now you see we added SEC two. Also we created another section. Now click on Edit section again, so we are going to add CSS ID. Now go to Advanced. Now you see CSS ID. Now edit section three, SEC three. Now go to vertical scroll widget. So this is our widget. So click on it. Now you see section item one. Now add section one. Again click on add item. Now add ID section two. Now again click on add item. Now add ID section three. Now you see. We added section ID here. Now you see section two, section one, section three. Now scroll down. You see navigation. So click on it, and then you see navigation menu. If you want, you can enable. Then you see navigation dot. On right side, you see dots, and then you see horizontal position, right or left. So you can do setting according to your requirement, and then you see vertical position. Also, you see shape, circle or lines. Now you see lines show. Now if you want, you can enable text. So I disable it. And if you want, you can add entrance animation. And then you see scroll setting. So click on it. Now you see scroll effect. Drop down. You see different effect. So you can use according to your requirement. And then you can set scroll speed. Currently 0.7. Now you see full section scroll. So enable this option. And then you see save to browse history. Also enable this option. And now you see enable full section scroll on touch devices. If you want, you can enable this option. And then you see check content overflow. So you can read this instruction. If you want, you can enable this option. And then scroll up. You see style. So click on it. And then you see navigation dots. Dots are container. Now we are in container section. You see background color. Now you can change. According to your requirement, now you see red. Also, you see dots. Now white container color. So click on dots. Now you see black dots color, active dot color, dot border color. Now this is active. Now click on update. 
now page update done go to page and refresh the page now page load and scroll down you see section and then you see dots and also you see background now you see another section this is vertical scroll now we added three section so you can add section according to your requirement so you can create design and then you can add section id and then put that section id in vertical scroll sections now you see so we are using premium add-on plugin so this is free plugin for vertical scroll so i hope you like this video please like comment share subscribe thank you for watching